It seems like everywhere you look, banks are hitting you with fees. They're hitting you with overdraft fees, annual fees, hidden fees, 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 fees everywhere. Well, today we're going to talk about Chime, which is a new online banking solution. What's up? I'm Brandon Young. On this channel, I teach you how to make, save, and invest money. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Now, all links to the product will be in the description down below. So don't be afraid to go down and check it out and see what they got to offer because they're honestly, they're an awesome solution. Now you must be wondering what exactly Chime is and why it's so great. Well, Chime is an online banking solution that helps you to save money as well as making it very convenient for you to control your money from the palm of your hand. Now, like any good thing in life, you always got your ups and downs. So basically, I'm gonna give you the pros of Chime and I'm gonna give you the cons of Chime. So let's firstly go into the pros. First pro is no monthly fees. So there is no fees whatsoever. I know with traditional checking accounts, you always got fees or you got these hidden fees that you always gotta pay, but there is no fees whatsoever with Chime, so that is great. Secondly, Chime makes it effortlessly easy to save your money. They have an actual option on the app that allows you to put 10% of your paycheck or any of your deposits towards your savings account, which is a great thing because it's automatic. And they also have something similar to Acorns, which I love about Acorns, but they have a similar thing called Roundups where it basically takes unused money. So say, for example, you buy uh, some chips for 50 cents and you got that leftover 50 cents that rounds up to a dollar. It will actually take that 50 cent and it will basically put it into your savings account for you, which is an awesome feature. And it, it allows people to save because basically from human nature, we do not save whatsoever. So it basically just puts it on autopilot for us. Number three, is it allows you to get your paycheck up to two days early now this is one of the major things that turned me on to this now imagine that you're supposed to get your paycheck on friday you're getting it two days earlier so you're getting your money on wednesday this is always a great thing where you can get your money a bit earlier number four is there is no foreign transaction fees so as you know, sometimes when you go abroad and you go and travel, sometimes you get hit with those foreign transaction fees. Well, there's none of it, none at all. No foreign transaction fees. So this card can actually be, be great for businesses that travel a lot and things of that sort because you're not paying all these hidden fees, these foreign fees, it, it's, it can be great. Number five is they have thousands of ATM locations at the palm of your hand. So all you got to do is go to the ATM or find my ATM on your actual app and it allows you to see which ATMs are in your area. So there's no, you know, looking around for these different branches. It's all open and easily at your disposal. So number six, we're going to keep going with the, this fee thing that I keep saying, but there is no overdraft fees. So as you know, a lot of places charge overdraft fees. If you do not pay that money back in the appropriate amount of time, there are no overdraft fees whatsoever. So this is great because you don't, sometimes you go to the store, you're like, hmm, 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 let me get a Rasta pasta. Let me get some, you know, chicken. You go put your card in and, you know, decline because you got hit with that overdraft fee. You didn't pay it. So now you're in the negative and you, you can't pay. Now, number seven is they have a very nice interface for their actual app. I can't say this for a lot of banking apps. There's an app such as Banco Popular, like their interface is crap. Like I hate it. And there's a lot of other banks that their interface is very old school. They haven't updated. One example of an interface I do like is Chase, but Chime has a very nice, simple interface where it leaves you not clueless, but you actually know where to go what to do next and it just doesn't leave you confused which is great and they also provide you with daily updates on your account which i can't say for a lot of other banks i mean sometimes you got to set these updates for your other banks but sometimes the notifications don't come through or you just don't get the notifications and that always sucks but with chime you get daily updates you get 
notified if you have a low balance or you basically get notified what your balance is, which is always great. Now with anything that is good in your life, you always got to take the good with the bad. So now we're going to talk about the bad things about Chime. Now Chime has very, very low interest rates for your savings account, but I don't really consider this a con because with traditional bank accounts for like Chase, TD Bank, all these other banks, you pretty much get a low interest rate regardless. It's like pennies on the dollar. Like you will have 50 to 60K in your bank account and you're getting maybe three to $4 on that money, which is basically nothing. So compared to Chime, I mean, you may get less than that, but it's like, it's comparably the same thing. So I wouldn't consider this a major con because you get this at traditional banks as well. Number two is cash deposit can be very strenuous because you can only cash deposit at green dot ATMs. And they do tell you the locations of these ATMs, but sometimes it may not be convenient and it can be out your way to get to them. So just be very mindful of that. But they do offer a solution where if you get a check, you can also always take a picture of the check and the check is automatically deposited into your account. But just like when you want to deposit things, it's kind of hard if it's cash but it's it's still you got to take the go with the bad now number three is gonna be that overdraft credit so like since there is no overdraft fees you would think that they do offer overdraft but they do not offer any overdraft whatsoever so sometimes that's this can be viewed as a bad thing because sometimes when you go out somewhere you may have five dollars and the thing that you need is ten dollars and you just want to you need that overdraft to just pay that off and then you can go and get your money from home and deposit it back into your bank account but with this solution you don't have any overdraft it may not seem like a big thing to some of you but you know depending on the person this can be uh, a win or a loss the last and final con is there is no physical location so everything is done virtually you will have to talk to the customer services online sometimes if you need to replace a card you have to do it through the app you have to call customer service there is no walking into a physical location and actually asking for a card sometimes people want that simplicity of you know sometimes their card got stolen stolen or they've lost it and you know you just want to walk into the branch and get your card and you don't have that accessibility with this app now when you look at this app there truly is way more pros than cons i mean some of these cons can be a complete turnoff for some of you but i think the pros definitely outweigh the cons you can be the deciding factor of your choice but i will definitely go with chime i will definitely look into it because with traditional banks you do have to pay these hefty fees most of the time and and sometimes you just want the simplicity of not having to worry about oh do i have enough money in my bank account and if these fees are gonna hit them then i might end up being in the negative now if you are interested in chime please check out my description down below and get started once you get started, you do get $50 put into your account, which is a great way to start off with your awesome Chime account. So definitely take that into consideration. I hope this video was insightful for a lot of you and you learned something new. Even if you decide not to go with the Chime, you definitely have an alternative to traditional banking. I'm Brandon Young, teaching you how to make save and invest money. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.